This is the Horizon Storyline for First Baptist Richardson. We believe that we're on a path to have become, five years down the road, a people who bring healing and wholeness to our community because we have been so transformed by Jesus. Here's how we picture this. We see a day over the horizon where we will each have been so dramatically transformed by our experience in the river of living water that comes from Jesus that our broken vessels have been restored to the place that we can become conduits of this river of living water to our community, enabling us to bring to our community love and healing and wholeness and grace and mercy and peace to those who are so desperately searching for healing. So how do we get there? In these first 90 days of preparation, we've been working on four key areas to help us prepare to launch this vision. And the first is that we've been developing tools to communicate the vision. And this will include things like social media and video and email and sermons and a variety of other venues to get the word out to our church about this vision. We've also been working on a process called alignment, where we're bringing things like budgeting and staffing and strategies all into alignment with this vision so that we can arrive where we believe God is leading. We're working on tools for a Bible reading journey, which will begin in January. And we've also been working on tools to provide our leaders the resources and the training they need to ensure that real transformation takes place in the ministries that they lead. So this brings us to year one, beginning in January of 2021. Our church will be embarking on a remarkable journey of reading one passage of Scripture every day, five days a week, all of us reading the same passage and using a journal called a soap journal to record our thoughts about how we can be obedient to what God is leading us to do. We believe that this will bring about unity and cleansing, restoration and transformation in our church body. Then, in the two to three years that follow that first year, we're going to work on four major areas, including developing a robust leadership pipeline that prepares leaders to use the gifts and the talents God has given them to uh, launch new ministries and to start new groups to minister to people. We're also working on strategies to help every member of our church learn how to develop one new connection a month, uh, looking for those who need healing and wholeness. And then we're developing a clear pathway to discipleship because at some level, every member of our church will be on this journey, this pathway to real discipleship. And then we're working on tools to create a culture of generosity in our church, ensuring that we are learning to be abundantly generous with our time and our talents and our resources. And here's where we see this bringing us five years down the road. We believe that we're going to see a day over the horizon when having experienced healing and wholeness and restoration in Christ's river of living water, that we carry in our broken vessels Christ's love, healing, wholeness, grace, mercy, and peace to our community.